Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-43 from RC Hippaler Engineering Statics 14th edition. According to this problem, the three cables are used to support the 40 kg flower pot. Determine the force developed in each cable for equilibrium. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to express each force in terms of Cartesian vector form. So we have the force in the cable AB. We have the force in the cable AD. We have a force in the cable AC. And we also have a weight force of this flower pot. Let's label them all. So this right here is FAD. This is FAB. This is FAC. And this is the weight force. Force FAC is only directed along the x axis. So in terms of Cartesian vector form, we have FSD i plus 0j plus 0k and the force FAB is only directed along the y-axis. So we have 0i plus FABj plus 0k. For FAD force, first of all we have to find the coordinates of point A and D. So coordinates of point A are 1.5 in the x axis, 2 in the y axis and 0 in the z axis. So it's 1.5 comma 2 comma 0 meters. And the coordinates of point D are it's 0 in the x axis. 0 in the y axis and 1.5 in the z axis. So these are the coordinates. And we know that FAD in terms of Cartesian vector form can be written as magnitude of FAD force into its direction, which can be represented by a unit vector along AD. And the unit vector AD can be written as position vector RAD over its magnitude. So for the position vector RAD, we have to subtract the coordinates of point D from the coordinates of point A. So subtracting the coordinates of point D from the point A, we have negative 1.5i minus 2j plus 1.5k divided by the magnitude. So we have negative 1.5 square plus negative 2 square plus positive 1.5 square. So unit vector AD comes out to be negative 0.514i negative 0.685j plus 0.514k. Now we can substitute the unit vector AD into this equation. So FAD in terms of Cartesian vector form becomes negative 0.514 FAD I negative 0 0.685 FADJ plus 0 0.514 FADK. Now we also have to express this weight force in terms of Cartesian vector form. So for the weight force it can be written as because the weight is only acting in the negative z axis. So we have 0i plus 0j minus 40 into 9.81 so 392.4 newtons so negative 392.4 k so now we have to find the magnitude of these forces and we know that the system is in equilibrium. 
so for equilibrium the vector sum of all the forces should be zero so the vector sum of fac plus fab plus fad plus the weight force should be equals to 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k. Let's call this equation A. If I substitute the values of FHC, FAB, FAD and the weight force into the equation A, the equation A would become, so for FHC we just have a i component, so FACI. For FAB we just have a J component so plus FABJ for FAD we have negative 0 0.514 FADI negative 0 0.685 FADJ plus 0 0.514 FADK plus for the weight force we just have a K component so negative 392.4K is equals to 0I plus 0J plus 0K. Now we are going to compare the IJ and K components. So comparing the I components We have FAC minus 0 0.514 FAD equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Now comparing the J components. We have FAB minus 0 0.685 FAD equals to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now comparing the K components so we have 0 0.514 FAD minus 392.4 equals to 0. So upon simplification FAD comes out to be 763.4 Newtons. So this is our first answer. Now we can substitute the values of FAD into the equation 2 and into the equation 1 to find the forces FAB and FAC respectively. So from equation 1 FAC comes out to be 0 0.514 into FAD which is 763.4 Newtons. So upon simplification FAC comes out to be 392.4 Newtons. So this is our second answer. And from equation 2, FAB is equals to 0 0.685 into FAD which is 763.4 Newtons. So upon simplification, FAB comes out to be 522.9 Newtons. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates.
And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.